hey guys welcome back we are back again with another interesting video for you as you can see in the screen this time we are going to make a real-time speech recognition system uh, which will uh, you know capture the voice that you are speaking currently and it will automatically uh, transcribe it into text and give you the text in this text box so i'm calling it real-time speech to text typing tool and we'll be using javascript to do this Let's see the demo first. You need to click on the start button first. Now I can speak. See, it's working perfectly. So in this way, you can just keep on talking and talking and talking and it will just keep converting it into text and will keep appending it to the text box that you are seeing in the screen. Perfect. Let me stop it and we are going to build this tool okay let's get going then let's just start with some html so we can call it uh, real time speech to text let's go with h1 real time speech to text id equals text box followed by the buttons Just let me call it controls so let me create a button now button id equals start button Similarly, I will need two more buttons. Stop button and clear button. Perfect. So after this, let me create another div, which I will call as status. Click start to begin speaking. Let's see. Yeah, this is what I want. Now let me add some custom CSS to make it look good. Start with the body. Font family. Arial. Sans serif. Max width. 800px. Margin 0 auto so that it comes in the center. Some padding as well. 20px. Okay. Now let's move on to the text box with 100%. Mean height would be 200px. Border 1px. Solid. Padding of 10px. Margin bottom 20px. Border radius. 5px white space pre app this should do my job yeah and then let's go to the controls display flex gap of 10px margin bottom 20px not bad now for the button, let's start with some padding, 10px, 20px, font size 16px, cursor pointer, background, let's go with 4CA, F50. Background is not working. Yeah, it's working. And color white, border none, border radius 5px. Okay, this is not working. Oh, the code is wrong. 
this is better now. Now we can move on to uh, some hover effect for the button. Button hover. Let's change the background color to 45A049. All right. Now, if the button is disabled, then make the background color to CCC and cursor not allowed because the uh, no no button is now currently disabled. Let's finish it with status padding 10px background color could be f8 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 and then border radius 5px okay so we are done with the design part as well now we need to start the javascript so before starting the javascript uh, let me include um, jquery first because i'll be using jquery so I can include a CDN link over here, https cdnjs.com slash cloud that oh sorry cdnjs.cloudflare.com slash hx libraries check waiting 3.6.0 jQuery.min.js Now I can make use of jQuery. Perfect. Now let me grab all these elements over here. So where text box equals dollar text box. Where status equals dollar status. Similarly, start button equals start button. I can copy it easily. So, stop button and then clear button. I think this should be enough for now. Let me create some variables. Uh, final transcript and interim transcript. I'll make use of this later on. Pop it. Now I can start listening, right? So, in order to uh, listen, I will need to define something speech recognition as window dot speech recognition uh, or window dot webkit speech webkit speech recognition then recognition equals in speech recognition perfect now I need to configure uh, this recognition as recognition dot continuous viewist equals true. I need it to be continuous, of course. Recognition dot interim not transcript but results quotes true. What this does is enable real time results. Now I can start listening, right? So recognition dot on result equals function event. So the interim transcript would be blank first. Let's loop through them. Event dot result index i is less than event dot results dot link plus plus i if event dot results i dot is 
final then final transcript would be event dot results i zero dot transcript equals transcript plus space but if it is not final then it would be interim transcript equals event dot results i zero dot transcript perfect now after doing these things what i need to do i need to display both the results so text box dot html would be final transcript plus span uh, let me give in line style over here color could be some lighter one so 999 then entering transcript and then span close now after doing this what i can do i can just scroll to the bottom of the text box so text box dot scroll top text box dot scroll height this should work then recognition dot on start equals function status dot text voice recognition is active speak now and then i can do start button dot property disabled equals true because it's already started so start button should be deactivated while stop button should be activated similarly for on end voice recognition stopped and the start button should be enabled and it should be disabled now for some error let's catch some error on error function what we can do is if event dot error equals no need speech then status dot text no speech detected try again else if it is some other error then status status dot text would be error with the specific error that will be event dot error and in case of error start button could be disabled false and stop button disable true what next now we need to start it because we have not yet started it so start button dot on click function try recognition dot start if there is some error or exceptions i can catch it and then status dot text could be error starting recognition with the exact error now let's uh, add the event listener for stop button stop button on click 
we need to stop the recognition that's it recognition dot stop and for clear button that on click function the final transcript would be blank interim transcript would be blank text box got html would be blank and i can change the status text text cleared click start to begin speaking again perfect let's see it let's try and start it so there is some error let's check the error okay the error is on this stop button now there is no error let's start now i'm testing the voice recognition perfect real time speech to text now there is no need for you to keep on you know typing the keyboard you can just speak your words out and it will automatically type for you you can easily uh, copy the text and use it wherever you want how cool is it so hope you guys enjoyed this video I have provided a link in the video description below where you can find source code for this script. Please subscribe us for more interesting and useful videos like this. This much for today. Cheers, guys.